Right, so here we're going to be passing up through a small way out there, or we be there, and then we're going to be coming back down through the we be there. Well, small meaning that the offset distance between this anchor point and the top anchor point is under 1.5 meters. First thing we're going to do, we're going to be treating this like a rope to rope transfer, so we're just going to change into descent before worrying about anything else. Now I'm going to take these ropes, put them behind this one out, just ignore them, concentrate on it and change it over to the original ropes that we climb on. Take both of my ropes, line them up to the left hand side, and we can bring this loop around the right hand side. These two pieces of rope, we don't actually need to connect anything to on a small re anchor. We're just going to use these to get our hands on those ropes. So we're going to pull them across so we can access these two lines that lead to the anchor point at the top. Now, in certain cases, you can do smaller rope transfers on less than four points of attachment. But just to keep things simple, and because we have this steel work as a hazard when we're coming back down, we're just going to do this on four points the same as we do a large rope transfer. So I'm next going to attach the duck and the crawl to these forward ropes. Again, just trying to keep them, your attachments nice and clean, not wrapping them up around those loops or these down ropes that you came up. So we'll back them on. Chest to send her on. I'm just going to give a little pull across just to get some tension on that crawl. We'll have a little clean up again, just keep your eye on this loop, keep it out of the way, and we're going to descend. Check the ASAP not locked. That's it across. And once the descent it goes completely slack, we am going it off. Take the ASAP off. Have a little clean up on this side. Make sure you're not twisting or tangled. If you are, you can use your spare back to the center if necessary to fix any tangles you have. But we're just going to carry on climbing up. I'm going to change back to the ASAP for the ascent. Get rid of that hook. Remember we don't need to transfer onto this portion of the, the rigging here, we need to transfer back to the ropes that we climbed up initially. So I'm just going to use these two lines here, pull across, grab those ropes, bring them back up. Try and keep them separated by keeping these on your legs, your shoulder, your feet, just somewhere out of the way of these two lines. The next thing we're going to do is attach two points back to these ropes, which is going to be the spare back device and the chest sender. Once that's on, I'm just going to take a little bit of slack through on the crawl. Keep the back up high on the forward ropes. Keep an eye on that loop, make sure it's not tangled around your legs or anything. Check the air shaft's not locked and descend. 
Again, once the center is completely slack, remove it. Take off the back of the device. Before you start changing over and heading down, just take these two lines that we don't connect and push them away. That will show you if you are either A, tangled around them maybe with a back device, or if you've accidentally connected to them instead of these ones. If you have done that, just use your descender and your spare back to attach to the right ropes now and disconnect from those ones. Provided you are not tangled up, then you keep those ropes out of the way. Again, we're just going to do a changeover and head down. So I'm, going to stick the, I'm going to stick the ASAP on and move the duck. Continue with the duck if you wish. Descend her on. Just take care before you head down, check that you haven't accidentally connected anything back to your horns. Tangled yourself inside those loose ropes. What you can do before you head down is just take these two ropes and push them away. Just to make sure you're nice and tidy and not tangled up anywhere. Just take your time going past them. 